Amblyopia, or lazy eye, is a really common condition that children have. It's about 1 in 20 kids worldwide, and what it is is a neurodevelopment disorder, which means that their eye and their vision doesn't develop properly. For amblyopia, it's typically one eye that doesn't see as well as the other. The treatment that we've had for hundreds of years is to cover the good eye and encourage the brain to listen to the bad one. And because the brain's learning to see up until the age of seven or eight, we only have that time frame to do something about it. For busy families, when you have one child that might be one of three, four, five, and you have to spend a significant number of hours every day for months on months, making them do something they don't want to do, this is a huge problem. In fact, if you take all the children with amblyopia or lazy eye, around 50% don't get a good outcome. So there's lots and lots of adults out there who have lazy eye or amblyopia, and this causes lots of disadvantage. There's certain careers they can't do, their day-to-day -day living, they tend not to see in 3D, normal navigating tasks, there's lots of different things that this affects. And so it's really something we need to get hold of when children are young. What we've done with this app is we've teamed up with some very clever mathematicians and computer scientists to try and incentivize kids to actually want to put the patch on. So the app is a suit of mobile games for children of age four to eight years. We mostly try to incentivize children to wear the patch by giving them special powers in the game while they're wearing a patch and having certain sequences of the game playable only while wearing the patch by controlling the game character with the patch. So one of the most difficult things, of course, is to have a mobile phone checking if a person is wearing an eye patch or not. And doing this in real time with the limited computational environments that we have on a mobile phone, you need some rather serious mathematics to, to get this off and to pull this off. And that was quite a complex algorithm to build in total. We could not use off-the-shelf software for that because off-the-shelf software just recognizes if you have a face in front of a camera, nothing, nothing else, more or less. So we, we had to go back to building everything from scratch with some very advanced mathematical tools to develop some very fast and advanced algorithms that can do exactly what we want to do here. Well, you know, home life's so busy, isn't it? You know, you work, you've got dishes, you've got dinners, you've got baths, you've got homework, you've got all this, and then you've got to sit and do all these things with eye patches and stuff, whereas they can sit and play a game. And yeah, it leaves you able to um, go off and do your mum things, you know, mum duties, and know that your child's actually wearing their patches and they're doing, they're having fun at the same time. So it's really exciting to team up with other departments at Southampton University. We're a big university with lots of different things going on and a lot of the really exciting advances, certainly in the medical world, come from when doctors like me team up with people who are very clever in their own field and we realise there's things we can overlap on and technology and skills that they have that can help our patients. So I'm super excited about the number of people involved in this project. This was an absolutely fascinating opportunity, I think, for every one of us coming together with so many different ideas from so many different places, where they are from, from mathematics, from computer science, from game design, from ophthalmology, from, from optics. It's absolutely fantastic to work with so many different people Everybody very, very smart on the team. Everybody very committed with lots of different ideas. That was just great. And that's something that I think we at Southampton are very good at.